In this lesson, I'll show you how to verify that connecting adjacent midpoints of a quadrilateral will produce a parallelogram. The question reads, verify that the quadrilateral EFGH formed by joining the midpoints of adjacent sides of quadrilateral A, B, C, and D is a parallelogram. In other words, we have a quadrilateral A, B, C, and D, and when you connect these midpoints, you will form a parallelogram. We have to prove that what's in green here is a parallelogram. Remember that a parallelogram is technically a rectangle where its opposite sides are parallel to one another and if two lines are parallel to one another that means that their slopes are the same. So what we have to do is find out if the slope from H to G and E to F are the same and the slope for H to E and G to F are the same. Let's go ahead and do that. Remember that the slope formula looks like this where m, which represents slope, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now unfortunately, they show us where the midpoints are for each of these lines, except they don't give us the coordinates, and we need to be accurate with the coordinates. So let's find the midpoint between a and b. I'll show you the first one, and then you can find the midpoints for the rest. So the midpoint between a and b is the following. We have the midpoint, which I'll represent as MP, is the average of the X coordinates. So X2 plus X1 divided by two, and Y2 plus Y1 divided by two. X1 is the coordinate of A, negative four, plus the coordinate here, two over two. Y2 is two plus negative five over two. Using our calculator to do this, we have negative four plus two divided by two, that's negative one, and two plus negative five divided by two is negative three over two, which is negative 1.5. That's the midpoint for E. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for H, G, and F. I've summarized my findings underneath, and now I'm ready to find the slopes. So we'll start with H, and E. The coordinates for H are negative 1.5 and 3.5, and recall we'll be using this formula. This point relative to E is further to the left than E is. Therefore, our second point will be E and our first point will be H. Y2 will be the Y coordinate of E, which is negative 1.5 minus the Y coordinate of H, which is 3.5, over the x coordinate of E, which is negative one minus negative 1.5. Now using our calculator, negative 1.5 minus 3.5 is equal to negative five, divided by negative one plus 1.5. This gives us negative 10. So the slope between H and E is negative 10. Let's go ahead and find the slope of G to F. The slope between G and F, that's our first, that's our second point. So Y2 is negative four, Y1 is one, X2 is 4.5, and X1 is four. Let's open up our calculator. Negative four minus one divided by 4.5 minus four, and that gives us negative 10. So the slope between G and F is also negative 10. Given that the slopes are the same, that means that these two are parallel. Now let's do the same thing for H to G. So the slope between H and G is Y2 minus Y1. Y2 is one minus 3.5, four minus negative 1.5 using our calculator, one minus 3.5 divided by four plus 1.5, and that's equal to approximately negative 0.45, or technically negative five over 11. Now, the slope between E and F. F is negative four minus E, which has a y coordinate we found to be negative 1.5 over x2 
4.5 minus negative 1. Our calculator will give us negative 4 plus 1.5 divided by 4.5 plus 1. Once again, negative 5 over 11. Since they are the same, these two sides are parallel. And that just proves that connecting adjacent midpoints of a quadrilateral will produce a parallelogram. And that's the case always. And so there you have it. That is how to verify midpoint properties of quadrilaterals.